What's going on YouTubers? Today's video is going to be about the best keybinds for anybody that's playing Gears of War 4 on the Windows, which I mean by PC. So anyone playing the PC, I just want to show you the best keybinds that I use that, you know, really is easy to access when using the mouse and keyboard. I want to provide you guys something very different. From here guys, I'm sure there's a lot of people wondering what buttons I use to use my weapons or what is just my actual keybinds? How do I use mouse and keyboard so well? What DPI I'm using? What equipment am I using? So I'm going to show you guys this video right now. Now I want to show you my G502 Logitech mouse. It's wonderful. It's great. To me, it's the best mouse I have ever used. And I went through so many mouses, but this is all opinions. But anyway, what I love about this mouse so much is that not only has a great ergonomic grip, it has like a a mouse button between the thumbs for anybody that like knows about this mouse knows exactly what I'm talking about it helps me so much when using a weapon like a sniper rifle and if I need to zoom in real quickly I could just use that thumb you know the thumb button instead of using the keyboard to zoom in with my scope it just to me is so much more easier to access also this is uh, where I have my mouse settings for my uh, actual windows program you can see enhanced mouse um, pointer positions off I like off and Many gamers know that if you have it off on your mouse, it's a lot more persistent than having it on for many reasons. But also, here's um, the DPI on my mouse. You can see that it's 400 DPI, and you know a lot of people are very surprised that I'm able to you know run around a lot, wall bounce with 400 DPI. A lot of people were really confused how I was able to do that. Now, one of the reasons is because I have a huge mouse pad. I'm gonna put in a link what kind of mouse pad I have, and. If you guys saw the beginning of the video on my mouse, you can see how large my mouse pad is. So it gives you a lot of space. Not only that, I'm running 144 hertz 1080p gaming on my Gears of War game. So everything is just super smooth, super fast. And my monitor is really, you know, really, really fast. It has a one millisecond response time. So having super smooth gameplay is not a single problem for me. And that's one reason why I was capable of wall bouncing. But anyway, guys, I'm going to show you my key binds on my mouse. And I want to show you how I use everything. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you my keybinds. Now the first button on my mouse, it's the Lancer. It just doesn't get more simple than that. Now the second button on my mouse is the shotgun. Now the fact that I'm capable of picking, using two weapons with just two buttons just gets very easy for me to access to my weapons instead of just using switch weapons for one button. So I can gain access to my weapons immediately by the first button of the Lancer and the second button is the shotgun. So now the third uh, slot I use for my pistol is the mouse scroll. I literally just press it. I don't, I don't move around with it. I just press the mouse scroll and that's it. My pistol is out. So I'm gonna show you the way I keep buying this in a second, guys, in the option menu. But to me, guys, this is the easiest way possible with the mouse to access your weapons in Gears of War 4. It just doesn't get more simple with this than than doing anything else. But this is all preference. This is all opinions. Now to access my grenades, I didn't really keep on in my mouse. All I use is my finger to touch uh, number four on my keyboard, and there I got my grenades oh, wow, out. Guys, so this, this is just my it doesn't get more simple so than that. Here it goes. I'm gonna scroll down, and then if you need uh, to see it, just pause the video when you see me scrolling down, so you can see everything. But this is literally everything I'm using right now. So. <laughs> But there's another way to keep buying stuff. If you want to switch weapons with a one button and it asks, it access to other weapons, you could just press that instead. But to me, the way I set up, to me, it's a lot easier. But that's just all preference and all pains once again. I'm sure you guys will find out the way you guys will you know, set up on your mouse. But so far, this is the way to go, in my opinion. Now, my mouse settings for mouse sensitivity, here's my settings. They're all really low, and I'm using 400 DPI once again, like you guys saw earlier. And, uh, yeah, you can see this. <laughs> I find this very, like, some people are very confused the way my mouse things are. There was people asking, like, how, why, why would you play games with such low DPI? Well, guys, for many reasons why I do is because if you're, like, scrolling around and aiming, your mouse is going to be all over the screen. So if you lower it and find the sweet spot for your best settings, uh, your aim will be, I don't know the word, I guess perfection, like, you just gotta find what's your, uh, style. But I have a pretty big desk, I have a pretty big heavy mouse pad, and I have a lot of space, so... And lowering my sensitivities is gonna become much easier for me to be persistent and aim down sights on enemies. 
But alright guys, I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you guys like whoever's playing Gears of War 4 on the Windows PC. I hope you guys find this video very helpful. But then again, it's all preference. It's all about your style, the way you want to play this game. But I hope it provides something for you that you always wanted to know. But guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to message me and let me know, like, what do you guys think is the best settings of running Gears of War? I may not be the best player, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, just feel free to message me. And, uh, if you, f if you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content. But, guys, if you guys have any more questions or you guys want to make a video about something, comment below and let me know.